Now there are two kinds of devotees. Those who prefer to worship the formless, those who prefer to worship the personal form. Arjun's question is, who is superior in yoga? Gita chapter 12 verse 2 Shri Bhagavan Vata Shri Bhagavan Vata Nitya Yukta Upasate Shraddhaya Parayopeta Shraddhaya Parayopeta Te me yukta tama mata Yesterday we saw how Arjun opened the chapter with a question. Having seen the universal form of God in the previous 11th chapter and been overawed by it, terrified by it, and also seen God in his personal form standing before him as Sri Krishna. He was curious to know which of the two kinds of devotees is considered a superior yogi, the worshipper of the formless aspect or the worshipper of the personal form. We went on to discuss that God has both these aspects. To say that he is only formless or only existing in a form is to limit him. He is all-powerful, he is Satya Sankalp, which means whatever he resolves comes about. Sankalpa Devasya Pitara Samuttishthanti there is a Brahma Sutra, Dvadasha Madhubhaya Vidham Vadarana Yodta. Jagat Guru Shankaracharya, the propounder of Advait Vahat and establisher of Gyan Marg, he says, Yada Sashariratam Sankalpayati Tada Sashariro Bhavati Yada Tvashariratam Tada Tvashariraha Satya Sankalpatvat Sankalpavaitit Triyacha. He says, If the Supreme Lord, the Brahman, resolves, let me be Tvashariv. Without the body, he becomes formless. If he decides, let me be Sir Sharir with a body, he becomes manifest in a personal form. He has both these aspects. Murtan Chaiva Murtan Dwe Eva Brahmano Rupe. This is Shankaracharya's writings. And it matches with the Vedas themselves. The Samaved Chandogya Upanishad states, Dvevava Brahmano Rupe Murtan Chaiva Murtan Cha. Now, anybody who has grown up in India knows this much of Sanskrit. Murt, a Murt. Personal form without a personal form. Dvevava Brahmano Rupe. So, this is our extended understanding of God. Now, Sri Krishna goes on to answer in this verse. He says, Arjun, I consider them to be the highest, who with steadfast faith and devotion 
engage in the worship of my personal form. Why? They reach a deeper and higher state of union with God. Secondly, they get a higher relish of the infinite bliss of God. Now to understand, to go into the depth of any knowledge, we need the authority, Sri Krishna has said it. We need the logic to understand, then the intellect gets convinced. The practical examples, the real life examples. So when we have all these aspects, then the intellect is able to become resolute. I will start off with a real life example. Then we will go into the logic and we already have the authority of Sri Krishna. 